All right, Jacob with How I Roll Sports. I'm going to show you how to make a pair of Aquaplast gloves with pellets very quickly, easily. Uh, not using sheets of Aquaplast, but pellets. Use one cup for each glove. Boil some water. One cup of Aquaplast pellets in boiling water. How much water? Uh, Thank you for asking, Jacqueline. Uh, enough water to submerge the full cup of Aquaplast pellets. Um, eight ounces of pellets for each glove. So you're gonna make one glove at a time. Um, dump it in. They're white pellets. They're gonna turn clear. You wanna look at it? Yeah. It happens quickly. So as soon as the pellets Turn clear, and I'm going to show you. Pellets are clear. All right, once the pellets are clear, use a cheap pair, like from the dollar store of tongs, because they're going to get screwed up. Um, also use an old pan. You're going to be able to pull it up like that. Be very careful when you're peeling it off the walls. Be very careful not to, not to pull the tongs, because you might have water go up in your face, especially if you're in a wheelchair like what I just did. No, I'm not putting it in there. So you got this big blob. You can turn that off for a second. Where's that towel? You got a big blob. And grab that bucket of water, please. You wanna have a bucket of ice water to the side. You almost wanna just give it a dunk, just to cool off the outside. You can touch it, you see that it's not super hot you can start peeling it off but be careful and remember this because the insides there's bubbles of, of, of seriously hot water um, it's gonna stay hot for a while so you need a hot excuse me you need a towel to knead out the hot water to get the bubbles out but be careful because you don't want you don't want it to stick and it will very very easily but you squeeze out the, uh, the excess water and then you have what's going to be your glove that's moldable for the next few minutes. I'll give it another dunk just to cool it off. And I do not claim to know how to build the best pair of gloves. I'm far from <laughs> a good racer. I uh, just want to make a video. <laughs> and you literally... I'll build this this side actually. Depending on what you like, can you see how easy it is? You adjust your blob. You start to feel it forming to where you want it. Give it another dunk. It's still very hot. Give it another dunk. Maybe you want more in your palm. Maybe you want more around the front of your fingers. Maybe you want a super small glove. You don't even need to use a full cup. That's it. So I'm thinking this is about how I want my glove. I'm thinking this is about how I want my glove. Dunk it in the ice water. You can let it sit. It's still very moldable. So you wouldn't want to start from scratch at this point, but see, it's still moldable, it's still, it's still uh, adjustable. You want to leave a little bit of space here because you don't want your fingers to get hit up in here and you, when you add moleskin. You want some space for that, for that moleskin, but it's fully fit to all your finger knuckles. And also, you want this top to be as smooth as possible because when you add your rubber, you want it to, uh, to be perfect and smooth. All right, so now your Aquaplast has hardened. You left it in ice water for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, it turned white again. Now that it's solid, you need to cut out the rubber because uh, you're gonna glue it on. So you're gonna need some super glue. I suggest the small bottle of uh, Gorilla, Gorilla Glue super glue, a pair of scissors, electrical tape, and the rubber. 
um, and a sharpie to outline the, uh, the edges of your of your rubber sheet. So outline the edges. It's just a rough estimate. Uh, more is better. You can always cut off more. You can't add. So again, it's a rough estimate. Cut it out. So now you have the rubber cut out, you put it right here, you know where you're going to want to put it. Uh, what you need to do is cut a bunch of strips of uh, electrical tape. So try to disregard the dog. You're going to cut a bunch of uh, electrical tape, pieces, strips. You can do it like that. Um, I'm going to show you why in a second. Alright, so now take the, uh, the super glue. You got your electrical tape uh, pieces cut. You don't need a ton of super glue because this glue is ridiculously strong. Um, just make sure you get the edges. I always go around the outside first and then just kind of fill in the inside. And this stuff stinks, so you can do it outside. And uh, that's, that's plenty of glue right there. Um, See if I can remember. So you put it on top, and then this is where all the electrical tape comes in. Uh, you want to hold it in place. Because ultimately. And what you want to do, by the end of, of your taping, you want to put down every single edge as tight as you can. Because that's what's going to keep it from peeling, um, peeling off in the end. See how, see how the edges um, are open? You want to tape all those edges down. And that's it. And so once you have this, I say let it sit for an hour or two. Um, uh, if you can, let it sit for a full day. Uh, the longer the better.